Welcome to Montreal. So we're very happy for this workshop today. It's the second edition. Um, we've been really, really working hard for this workshop to uh, bring you all here today and discuss about software health. Let's take a look about who were behind uh, this workshop. So it was uh, the organizing committee is Bram Adams from Polytechnic Montreal, myself from the University of Mons, Tom Mentz from the University of Mons, Kate Stewart, who is over there from the Lynx Foundation, and Gregorio Arogles from Universidad Rey Juan Carlos, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. So this is the team, and we really hope we enjoy today and we discuss about health and we come up with very useful research and practice conclusions about software health. We also need to thank our program committee. Without them, this wouldn't be possible for providing the reviews, doing all time, providing constructive feedback to the authors of the papers. So a big thanks to our program committee. So uh, we're very happy here to have participants of CHAOS today. And we also have two research projects that are about software health, which is SECO Health and SECO Assist. Uh, these two projects, well, actually, we have Josiane, Bram, and Tom, who are also in SECO Health, and we have Tom from SECO Assist only. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you're the PI. I can't. <laughs> so both of these projects are about investigating the health, OK, here specifically of software ecosystems. But the workshop is not only about ecosystems, it's about more, many more things about software health. So uh, we see that there's a lot of activity around software health these days, and we're very happy with this workshop to also uh, move along with these projects and continue to do great work with software health. So this year, we gave a bit more focus. We wanted to unite research and practice. Um, so in our call, we had a call for proposals and call for papers. And the reason is that we wanted to bring the two communities together to discuss about health and to have the chance to discuss about these two different perspectives about what the researchers are looking at for software health and what software health means for practitioners and to be able to uh, discuss, you know, our views and see how to move forward with uh, what is software health, how to measure it, how to do things to prevent health problems and all these different aspects of uh, software health. So today's schedule. So we will start first by introducing ourselves uh, with the invited keynote by Jesus, who will be probably introduced in a few minutes. Then we'll have a 30 minutes uh, coffee break, and then we'll have the session for the presentations of the papers or the talks. So uh, three either papers or, or talk will be presented in each session, and every author will have up to 25 minutes to conclude their presentation. And then we will also have five minutes for discussion. So we'll have one and a half hour sessions, and in between, either 30 minutes coffee breaks or here a lunch break uh, at 12.30. So we'll wrap up the final session at 5.30, and then we'll have 30 minutes to discuss and wrap up the entire workshop. So people who want to tweet today uh, can use the hashtag SOHIL19. Uh, this is uh, the handle of the workshop on Twitter. So please, when you tweet, also put the hashtag so that other people can follow and we can spread the news about what we will do here today. So that's it from me, and now Tom will take over. Okay. As uh, last year, the uh, first thing we will do is maybe just do a, a quick round of the room and ask everyone to briefly introduce himself or herself uh, for the other, so that everyone knows who everyone is before we start with the, the keynote. Uh, and maybe to encourage people, everyone that uh, introduces himself gets a free uh, something for your health. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can go first. Okay. Uh, which color do you want? You can choose your color. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm Jesus Gonzalez from Universidad de Juan Carlos, and my, my past research has been mainly on the retrieving data from software repositories and analyzing it. And I'm also involved in chaos. Okay. Nadim? <laughs> Uh, my name is Gramover, I'm known also as Vadim. Uh, I work uh, for the dark side, I work with a company. We're uh, producing compilers and uh, the software transformation and whatnot. And we're mostly dealing with uh, uh, companies that want to uh, migrate from wherever, uh, whatever ecosystem they're using in the software. Okay. Next. Hi, my name is Marcus. I'm from Technical University of Munich. I will not be presenting today, but I will more be a 
passive participant at work at university, but together with a company that does software health checks, how they call it, and in the joint project, we're trying to automate that. Okay. I propose you move the box around because it's easier for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my name is Francis Paulish. I'm with uh, Siemens Health and Ears. Um, uh, uh, we are very active in the open source compliance uh, topic, and uh, Arun Azakistan has a presentation in today's okay. uh, workshop later. Based in uh, Germany. Don't forget to take one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and, and based, based in Germany. <laughs> uh, Kate Sterling's Foundation, um, we're interested um, in how to make sure we have sustainable projects, you know, sustainable open source projects and understand how social work works. And so uh, I'm Josiane Marsan, I'm a full professor at Laval University in Quebec City, uh, two hours away from here. Uh, I'm with uh, the SQL project and I'm on the board uh, of Chaos also, and uh, I will be presenting today on behalf of my PhD students who could not make it. I'm uh, Wolfgang Maurer, I also work for Siemens Corporate Research, um, and I'm a professor at the Technical University of Regensburg. Uh, I will be presenting here on the drawbacks of, uh, or say on the, the state of, of uh, community health research, both from a practical and a an academic perspective, so I guess by the end of the day I will have annoyed everyone. <laughs> <laughs>